You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. Need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
mister. Senor? I can't seem to catch a break today. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. And Hosea? So that too. Well, we got Lenny's body out as well, fried the morgue, and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Perrin's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh. It's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <sighs> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! 
You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lighting. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of... Aviation. I didn't exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Pollard. Up ahead on the island, that's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going.